Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. My name is Sahimari Amin. I am a dietetic intern at Teachers College, Columbia University. I chose to do my rotation at Sabor Health because of the mission of the organization. I love how they focus on making sure that the patients get the right information so that they can make the right choices in terms of their nutrition. So today I'm making a very nice recipe, not that we're all staying at home without much to do and having a lot of time. I decided to do a recipe that it's easy to do, it's nutritious and healthy at the same time. So I want you to guess what the recipe. The ingredients are eggs, black beans, avocado, coconut sugar, applesauce, we are going to use some oil, baking soda, cocoa, salt, and vanilla. So maybe you, some of you guess it, but we are going to do black bean brownies. Okay, come. So this is all the ingredients together. Okay guys, now that I have the mixer ready, I'm adding it to the pan. Before doing so, I added some old spray just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan. At the same time, I'm preheating the oven at 350 Fahrenheit. So while I'm adding the mixture, I want to talk to you about the benefits of this recipe. So as I mentioned before, this is a very nutritious recipe because it's made up of black beans instead of flour. Black beans is a very good source of proteins, carbohydrates, and fiber. At the same time, this recipe has some avocado, which is also a very good source of healthy fat. So this recipe is very adequate for people who are looking for healthy choices, trying to find some healthy desserts, but do, wanna, do, do not want to feel guilty with eating excess sugar. So now that I have the mixture in my pan, I'm gonna add some semi-sweet chocolates just to add more chocolate. This is also optional. And here it is. Now I'm gonna proceed to bake it and see you again in 40 minutes. So this is the end product. It looks amazing and it smells great. And you can also eat it with some banana, but if your goal is to gain weight, you can also add some peanut butter. And remember, it doesn't have to be a recipe for dessert only, you can have it for breakfast Eat it with some granola, yogurt, strawberries, and just get creative in your kitchen. So guys, don't hesitate to make this recipe. It's very easy, it's delicious, and you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you.